have the experience it takes to sell your business. Mergers Corp, the leader in business sales mergers and acquisitions. At Mergers Corp M&A International, we help our clients' confidentiality buy and sell privately held businesses, align the interests of all parties for mature success and satisfaction. It is our goal to make the process of either buying a new business or selling your current business as smooth and efficient as possible. We know how important confidentiality is to our sellers, and we treat it with the utmost importance. Do you have the experience it takes to sell your business? Do you have the experience it takes to sell your business? You may be great at running your business, but have you got any experience with selling your business? When it comes to selling, it is a whole different ball game, and there are many disadvantages of taking on the selling of the business yourself. You are unlikely to be in touch with a network of buyers, and therefore it can end up with a little competition. This, in turn, will mean little negotiating power and a low price. Auto buyers of businesses have a lot of experience and know the ways to get the best bargain for themselves. Without experience, you will not know the tactics that can come into play in the negotiation. By definition, you are emotive about the sale, especially if you have put a lot of time and effort into running the business. It is important to have a level head in negotiations and to be objective without letting emotions cloud your thinking. There is a lot of preparation that can enable your business to get the optimum value. It is good to get advice from the experts about what you can do. Negotiating a sale is a lot of work and you have little time to concentrate on running your business at the same time. The business is likely to take a downturn and again, you will make less money out of the deal. Let's look at a scenario where a business owner takes on the selling of the business for themselves. First, the buyer gives a sample non-committal letter of intent with a low offer. Second, the seller asks for money, and the buyer raises the price by a little until the seller feels they have got a fair value. Third, the buyer does a thorough due diligence which requires the seller to spend a lot of time getting together all the paperwork and making reports. Fourth, the seller doesn't have much time to run the business. Fifth, due diligence uncovers a number of problems, maybe with the bookkeeping, the financial forecast, or with some contracts. Sixth, the LOI is updated, but, but this time it has complications, such as delayed payment or clauses that tie payments to performance and other items that put the seller at a disadvantage. Seventh, the seller has not spent a lot of time and energy on the whole process, to say nothing of the thousands of dollars on lawyer's fee. In addition, the business has taken the toll from the lack of focus of management. This in turn leads to discontent within the business, less productivity, and even employees looking to find jobs elsewhere. Eighth, as due diligence continues, the turn down in business shows up and further concessions are required. Ninth, at this point, point, the seller can make one of two choices. The first option is to pull out altogether, realizing that there is no way to make a good deal out of the sale. 
In this case, the seller should go back to building up the business, learn from the experience, and think about selling later with professional help. Hopefully, not too much damage has been done in the whole process in terms of losing customs, employees, and money. More often than not, however, the seller is under so much stress over the whole process and not able to match the expertise of the buyers as they argue their case that the seller gives in to a deal that is much below the original value of the business. This scenario highlights the need for professional help when selling your business it is often possible to get a 40% higher price and a much less stressful time. When you have a competent team on your side, they can find a broader market for your sale with more competition and the right buyers, help you prepare and optimize the value of your business, and then deal with the negotiations so you can continue running your business well throughout the whole process. Your business worth more because of it and you will get more for it. Good for you and for the buyer. In summary, it is well worth getting professional in to help you sell your business. Without them, there are many pitfalls and your business will normally sell at a significantly lower price. You will also save yourself from a very stressful process. Looking to buy or sell a business? Contact us now for a free business valuation.